Less than 10 seconds. That's how long it took for someone to pull up, get into someone else's car and drive away. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Sheree Skipson. Uh, that was one of the latest of thousands of cars stolen in New Orleans this year. Uh, this morning, the Metropolitan Crime Commission released its weekly crime stats. Murders, armed robberies, carjackings, all down from this time last year. But car thefts are up more than 150%. And that video we just showed you shows how quick some of them happen. Erica Ferrando met with the owner of the car in that video, and he says it was definitely locked, it wasn't on, and it's unclear how that thief got away. On Easter Day, a sunny day. Charles Davis parked his brand new 2023 Toyota Highlander a half block down the road from his friend's home in the Gentilly area for Easter lunch. We made very careful account of locking the car. At 1 p.m., just 30 minutes after he parked, he realized it was gone. I was sitting at the dinner table and I started looking out the, the window and I Wait, maybe I couldn't see it. Surveillance video shows a dark Hyundai pass by Davis's vehicle. Then 40 seconds later, the car pulls back up to his vehicle and stops. Someone gets out, gets into Davis's Toyota, then quickly drives away. Here's another angle showing the Hyundai pull up and drive off. We turned it off, we locked the car and, and left it. So I, I know that I'm sure that it wasn't our error. It was some very calculated theft that, that, that got it. The owners of the brand new Toyota say they know their vehicle was locked, so it's unclear how the thieves were able to get in and drive away with it. What they have to do, I assume, is to electronically open that car, turn it on, and then probably leave the area to see how quiet that is, come back, and then in seconds, just open the door and drive off. It, 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 with three, four seconds of, of delay, that's it. Davis has seen the trend of thieves stealing older Kias and Hyundais, but how did they get his? Davis thinks the thieves must have been smart. Well, I think that's the case, and, you know, the police seem to think it's juveniles doing this. I, I think it's much more a, a level that we, we're not even comprehending yet. I hope I'm wrong. He's been living in New Orleans for 50 years and never been a victim of crime until now. He only bought this new car two months ago to upgrade his old one. We've had one for 17 years, great car, but we wanted to upgrade security on this thing. They never broke into the old one for 15 years. So, uh, but the brand new one was, was breached within two months. Davis says his car is a tracking system, but it still hasn't been located. The middle of the day, uh, kind of keeping an eye on it, and it still got away from us. So, yeah, I, I don't know what to do. Um, you know, we, we've gotten to the point where we, we definitely park only off the street. And aside from a steering wheel lock or parking behind a locked gate, Davis doesn't know what advice to offer. Quit being naive about the fact that any car can be taken at any time instantly. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.